Hello everyone, it's me, it's Wolfie, and I am yet again back with another gardening video. We left off last time with my beginner video where I showed you the most simple layout for the most AFKable layout you can do from the beginning. And I've also had other guides and videos on other layouts that I think is really good for specific things. But I've always been thinking like I need a good layout where I have everything. So there was the all the different crops and I've been wrapping my brain around to what can I do with the crops that makes it so I can have all of them. Not just all of them just plop down but in a way where they still give each other buffs. And let me just say, it's impossible. It's impossible to give everything down and everything uh, buffs everything equally. I've seen uh, layouts where it was just um, all the original crops. Uh, but after we also have gotten the chili and the corn, these layouts are really not possible. It is not easy to put the buffs to everything. But that is why we also have the fertilizers and that is something I have mentioned before but I didn't mention it in the last video because I think fertilizers is not that necessary for beginner layouts but let us take this a step up and call this an advanced guide because there are a lot of good things to do with the fertilizers if it's not to buff the outcome I like to keep my layouts as hassle free as possible and I can do that with the use of weed block and hydro pro fertilizer and that is also very useful today with the layout I have planned out I tried to make a layout that was the most simple yet functional yet uh, AFKable because uh, I don't want to keep going back and tend to my crops so that is what I have prepared for us today. I have different criteria that I want to input in my layout and that is I want some apple trees. Because even though cake parties are nerfed, I still attend to them. So, and if I didn't attend to them, I would just uh, put them in the preservers. So what I did was I want these on the back line like this three of them so I have a lot of apples but can still do something else from that I have my potatoes and I want to make them in a grid so they will water the tomatoes and I want more potato than tomato so that is why I'm doing this and I do have something plant out so I want this potato here. In between that I will put down the tomato like that. Because the next props I want included is the blueberries and the chilies. And because I want my layouts to look simple and easy to replant and also I'm a bit OCD I'm gonna do it like this. So this is a good deal of our crops already. This way, my apples and my bushes are water retained. Mm, you see what I did there? Very clever, very smart. And what we can do with the bushes too, is we can give them the weed prevention buffs. So that's why I'm gonna put the onions and le carrots right here. I'm sorry, I'm not sure why I turned French there. <laughs> um, but let us get the carrots in between the onions right here. And now our bushes are water retained and have weed prevention. From here, it doesn't really matter what crops you put in for the last two rows. But for the sake of having everything, I'm gonna put down the last few things in what I think makes the most sense. I'm putting the wheat and the rice together like this. 
because they give the same buffs and it just makes sense in my little brain. And for the bottom row, even though I've said that it doesn't, it isn't really necessary to do cotton because you can buy cotton. I just wanted to include it for the sake of inclusion because now in this layout we will have everything. There is still the issue that not everything is getting the important buffs so it makes it easy for me to just go out and do other things. But that is what we kind of have to deal with. The last bottom row here. It will get everything except for the weed prevention because we cannot use two uh, fertilizers on one plot. So I have to choose. And if I have to choose, I rather want things to be water retained. So that is what we are going to do for this side of the crops. The other side, I want to have the weed prevention on. So up here where we do have them all water retained. I'm gonna put all the weed prevention on. So for example, the potatoes and tomatoes. We will also give some weed prevention. So I don't have to check for weed here. And actually it fits out perfectly that it's only the bottom row I have to check for weed. Because it's the most accessible. So for the last rows where I don't have the water uh, retention buff. That's where you just want to put a lot of the fertilizer on. So everything is water retained. There will be some overlapping in between the bushes. Where some of the things do have the buffs. You're just going to ignore those plants. And just give everything else. So this is some money you will have to spend on fertilizers if you are like me. But you absolutely don't have to do this. But for the sake of keeping the layout simple. And you want everything. And you want some buffs. This is a nice way to do it. Then of course you want to go and water all your plots. And if you're like me and you want your layout like this inside of your buildings. It is a very good idea to save up your tokens in farming so you can get the well. And of course as I said in the last video if you are above level 25 it doesn't matter if you're planting a non-star uh, C because no matter what you will get a star crop so that is why sometimes I will sell all my uh, seeds for the money and to clean up and I'll just go buy some whenever I need them and done you can see here this is a easy to look at layout and it's also easy to Maintain because it's all simple. You know where your crops is gonna go and Everything is buffed in some way So this is Maybe my final guide in terms of crops at least until we get some more crops I might be interested in making other layouts, but I think I've covered the most important things when it comes to gardening but if you do have any questions about gardening, you can put them in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe for more videos because I have many more planned. And if you're interested in more gardening videos, make sure to look at this video right here. And in the description below, there's also a link to my Discord if you want to join the community. But until next time, have fun guys. Bye. Yeah.